Hey everyone, it's Deltron Live, and welcome back. So in our first part, we covered just the first page of this terrain module, which covered uh, making cliffs, textures, uh, how to create roads, add water, as well as foliage. So now let's continue on to the next page. Again, this is my first time ever making a map or ever doing terrain with a StarCraft II editor. So it's, it's a learning experience for me as much is it going to be a learning experience for you as well? So it looks like we're going to add some doodads to our map. So it's telling us that our military base is pretty barren. We can add some hangars, crates, and fences to spice things up. Uh, and also add some decals to the helipad to make it look like an actual helipad. So in the StarCraft II editor, props are called doodads. So far, we've only been working with a terrain layer of the terrain module. Uh, okay, so let's let's go ahead and open up the map. I already have it open up from last time. Uh, I just remembered going to your your StarCraft II uh, folder and then find this StarCraft II editor. So one note. So last time I went ahead and added grass all around the map just to green things up a bit. And also, if you noticed last time, I did what I said not to do and created a vertical ramp. So I went ahead off, off camera and just removed the ramp, the vertical ramp, and then just added a new ramp, uh, like kind of a sideways ramp to make it more natural. Okay, so let's, let's get started with dropping in some doodads. So, again, it's saying props are doodads. So, to place doodads, we need to switch over to the doodad layer. On the top row of buttons, find the doodad. Looks like a tree, or press the D button. Okay, so just press the little tree. Okay, some doodad controls. There are hundreds of doodads available, and therefore, finding the exact one you want can be difficult. However, there's filters that you can use in a search field if you really want to get specific. Specific. So the first doodad we're going to add to our map is a garage. So let's use some filters to help help us find it. So locate the doodad filters. Okay, so they're right here. So it's saying select wasteland from the climate uh, drop down. Okay. And then it's saying to select structures from the doodad type drop down. Okay. So now you can see we have a lot fewer doodads available in this region than we did before. And then you can just go ahead and type um, in garage. So let's go ahead, click garage. Okay, and then the garage shows up, and it's saying place the garage on the map somewhere on the bottom of the base. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's place it here. Just left click to place it. So it's saying the garage is facing south, so you can see it's opening, opening the open is facing south, uh, which you don't want because it's people it's facing the cliff you don't want people falling off the cliff edge so insane in order to rotate it uh, press the space bar to get into the selection mode uh, select it and then you can while holding down control and clicking off the doodad you can rotate it just like that so let's have it face north and that's it. So next we're going to place some decal doodads on the helipad. So first we're going to select the decal doodad. Okay. Uh, so let's just go back to all, all, get rid of this search engine. You have to get rid of this in order to look for, for other things. Uh, decal. Okay. So just select this first one. 
and place a couple of decal doodads on the map near the garage. Okay, I think it's saying we need to place it around the uh, helipad. Okay, so they switch after every one, so they cycle through all the available decals. So, yeah, like I just said, there can be multiple variations of the same doodad. If you want to cycle through the different vari variations of doodad, enter a selection mode and then select the doodad you want to change, then press the, uh, the angle bracket keys to cycle through the variations. Okay, let's, so let's try this with spacebar to get in a selection mode. Select one of the doodads, and then you can cycle through by pressing the angle brackets. The angle brackets, if you don't know, those are the... Uh, the keys, they're on the same key as the comma and period are. And you don't have to press the function or shift key or anything. Uh, just press basically the comma and the period key to cycle through. Okay, cool. Okay. Can you cycle through before placing it? Yeah, you definitely can. Okay, so now it wants us to create this helipad decoration. Okay, so basically we're going to have to get rid of a lot of this stuff. So, so let's go into selection mode and then just select one, press delete, the ones you don't want. We are going to want to keep this. So let's move it over here and then rotate it. I'm just creating it as, as close as I can to what's shown in the uh, on the website. And I'm guessing you can do Control C, Control V to paste, copy and paste. Yes, you can. So let's go ahead and place that. Rotate it. This is it's not going to be perfect. This is more just learning how to use it. Uh, when I'm making, if I'm making my actual map that's going to be played by other people. I'm going to spend a lot more time making sure things are just right. And like they always say, if things aren't perfect, it adds, you know, individuality to your map. So make things a little unique. So it doesn't look like it's made by a robot. Okay, so now we want to create the H. So let's see how we're going to do that. So let's cycle through. I doubt there's going to be an H, so let's just get a straight line. And then we can create our own H. There we go. So let's bring it over here. Rotate it. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy paste. Now let's rotate this last one and place that in the middle. So it's not looking, it's not, doesn't look like it's like it wants to be an H. Uh, maybe we can make it a U. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so it says if you hold down shift, if you select the part, hold down shift, that ignores improper placement. So you, Basically, you can place this wherever wherever you want now. Uh, I guess the editor doesn't like certain places, so just hold down Shift, and then you can uh, make an H. Okay, just move these around. Okay, let's go ahead and save, and let's continue. So for the last example, we're going to place some rock doodads on the bottom of the canyon at the edge of the water. Find and select the rock doodad. So I guess if it's telling us rocks, let's just type rock. Um, let's see. Okay, so again, it's telling you select the large rock. So it's show, showing up red. So it's saying basically the editor on the won't won't allow you to place doodads on lowest level terrain. Uh, that's one of the restrictions. So to just bypass that restriction, just hold shift, and then you can place 
the rocks around. Again, I'm not making this this perfect. Uh, it's just kind of learning how to use the editor. Okay, so like I just said, holding down the shift key ignores placement restrictions. So now it's just saying to continue placing doodads around the base and the bottom of the canyon until you're happy with the layout. Here's what we've come up with. Okay, so now we can just get the play around a little bit. So I guess that was most of the learning for today. So if you want to stick around and watch me play some doodads, you're more than welcome to. If not, I'll see you on the next video. We'll, we'll continue learning, uh, continue with the terrain uh, module. So for now, let's see. Uh, so let's create another garage and just place it next to the one we already have. Selection mode, rotate it. Okay. And then let's place the large garage offset. Just over here, maybe closer to the road. Okay. Let's rotate this. Okay, this looks like the front. Okay, let's add some lights. Uh, which light should we add? Let's go ahead and add the bullhorn light up here. Uh, let's add one here as well. I'm not making exactly like the one on the website, but fairly close. Okay, some crates. Let's find some crates. Okay, so another thing, let's say, you see here, when I click on these, it shows this tiny, tiny, um, kind of like preview of what the item is. So that's one way you can see what it is. Another way is just hover your cursor around the map and then press the up and down arrows. And then you can get a better view of what the actual uh, doodad is. And then you can go ahead and press the uh, left and right angle brackets as well to cycle through the different types in each uh, doodad. Okay, so let's add this supply crate here. And then we can add a few of these smaller crates around the garages. Let's, let's add another supply crate. There we go. And you can always rotate them to get the exact um, view you want. Okay, it looks like there's some outhouses. So let's just type outhouse. And then we can, let's put them in the back. Back here. So we have a blue and purple one. It's fine with me. Let's go ahead and rotate. Rotate them. Okay. So let's add the flags now. Looks like there's only one type of flag, which is fine. There we go. Uh, let's see what else. Let's add some sandbags along the road. Everyone's favorite, the sandbags. Okay, so if you just left click and hold it down and drag, it'll create many sandbags. 
Okay, again, this is not perfect. It's just, just to show what you can do in the editor. Just learning how to use it. Let's add some pipes. Pipe stack. Okay, let's add one down here as well. Okay, let's see what else. Let's go to our parking lot area and add some cars. Let's see what kind of car. This is truck cargo. This one is fine. So I went here. Let's get a different type and add that here. Selection mode, spacebar. Let's rotate these a bit. Okay. Now let's add a fence around the parking lot. I guess this one, and then we can just rotate it. Okay, so it's not going to be perfect. If you hold down shift, you get more control of where you're going to place it. So let's just copy and paste it. Again, hold down shift. Rotate it. and paste. Let's actually try this straight fence. So it's a little, yeah, it's a little different, you can see. Um, okay. So these are a little crooked, but that's fine. Also, instead of space, you can just hit uh, escape to enter selection mode. And then remember, if you want to undo anything, just press uh, Control Z or this button right here. Okay, it's not wanting to move. So let's just undo that. Uh, Rotate this one. So these are a little hard to actually select and move. Okay, let's just, and then to delete, if you select it and then just press the delete key. Okay, but you get the idea. You can continue adding fences around here. Let's go ahead and add another type of light here. Uh, this floodlight. No, let's let's see. What type of light we want? Those are the bullhorn lights. Floodlights. Let's add this. This looks nice. Again, you can just hit shift to place it. Get the floodlight. Oh, you can see this one rotates. That's neat. Let's go ahead and add some crates here. Just around. cars. Okay. You can add more sandbags. You 
again. Just along the road. Okay, let's go ahead and add some those floodlights next to the helipad. There we go. Let's go ahead and another type of car. Let's see which one we want. See what other types of these cargo trucks there are. Not too many. Let's just go ahead and add this one. Find here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, and then I guess the last thing is trees. So let's add some trees. That'll spice things up. Go ahead and add the agria trees. And we can zoom out just kind of sp spread them out there we go add some along the road so you don't want, you don't, you don't want perfect place but placement of trees but. okay Add some in the canyon again. You'll have to press shift for this. You can even add them in the water if you like. Add some on the high ground over here. Add some down below. We don't want one on the helipad. Okay, you can add as much or as little as you like. So it looks like they created kind of a forest on the other side, so we can just hold down shift, create a bunch of trees. This is where the, this is where the animals are gonna live. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, let's add some in the front. And it looks like they added some rocky texture over there. So let's go back to the terrain. Textures, the Agria rock, and just put some rocks over here. The rocky texture. Let me go back to the doodads. Add some rock. Let's see what other. See all, all types of rocks. Let's just add these smaller rocks here. Okay. Again, doodads are important for your your map. They just you know they add to the experience. They make it more natural. Uh, you can see before this was just a plain concrete floor with nothing on it. So uh, with the cars, with the lights, it adds that kind of more natural effect to it. Uh, we have the helipad, looks more like a helipad. We actually have trees and rocks. Um, these garages, the flags, some sandbags. Again, yeah, doodadding is just to make things look a little nicer. Uh, I guess the last thing is doodad properties. So basically if you just select the doodad and double click it, it'll bring in this doodad property. You can change the position, height, uh, rotation, and X, Y, and Z. And then you can scale the part um, as well to make it smaller or larger. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, so today, yeah, this video just covered doodads and whatnot. So next time we'll probably 
I think we're going to get into placing units, so that'll be fun. And I think the next video will be the last video in our tra train, uh, in the train module. So yeah, thanks everyone that's stuck with me and hopefully this is helpful and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.